How you doing guys? DJ AJ101 here and I'm here just to tell you about something that I found very, very interesting that I actually found on Paul Therott's Twitter feed. And of course, like I had said in previous videos, if you don't know who Paul Therott is, he's basically the Windows guy. He's, you know, owner of the windsupersite.com and he does all this Windows stuff from Microsoft and pretty much writes and tests products for them and stuff like that. He's also on Leo Laporte's uh, Windows Weekly. Uh, he's one of the hosts. Uh, so he didn't know who that was. And he actually has a link here that I found um, pretty cool. And I'm sure you guys have already heard about this, but I figured I'd give you a quick demo. Uh, the tweet actually takes it to his uh, WinSuper site. And he actually has an article here about how you can virtually run Windows Phone 7 UI on your iPhone or your Android phone. So you can actually try it out. So people that um, aren't really sure if they're going to get, you know, Windows Phone or maybe or, or interested maybe on how it works can actually run this virtual UI as you guys can see right here and he actually has a short little article and I'll provide the link in the uh, course description below right down there how you can try this out for yourself if you have an Android phone or a Windows phone or well, if you have a Windows phone I guess you don't want to try it out but if you have an iOS based phone or an Android phone uh, definitely really cool there's actually a link right here it's this web based Windows Phone 7 uh, simulator so we're going to click on that and it's going to take us to the uh, Windows Phone 7 uh, UI. And it's basically just a demo. You can't do too much in here, but it kind of gives you an idea on how it works. So we're just going to click Start Demo. And, of course, as you guys can see right here, I'm running this on my uh, iPhone. And as you guys can see, it's 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 an iPhone. <laughs> so <laughs> so this is basically running uh, in the browser, uh, running um, basically from the uh, tweet. Uh, but like I said, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. But if you just type this URL in on your phone, uh, you'll basically get the exact same thing. So as you guys can see, we'll just kind of go around here. We'll go to the phone. So you would basically tap on the tile, and it would take you to the phone, and they're kind of, you know, just kind of showing you, you know, the history and how it all works. And it'll actually pulse to show you how this stuff works. So if I wanted to figure out how, you know, the phone call works, and here's the history. Um, let's say I wanted to tap on uh, Mitchell. Of course, there's the Windows Phone 7 logo pulsing down there, and it says, okay, that's how you would do a phone call. You know, you'd go right in and you'd tap on the person's name that you want. Let's go into Outlook, because I know a lot of people do email. And of course, it says, you know, here's all your un, you know, your unread inboxes, and we're going to click right there. And then it goes to a link inboxes, and then you can choose your mail. And of course, it has all different types done here, your Yahoo, your Gmail, your, your everything, so it's compatible with everything. And then you would go back to your inbox. And you go back to Wendy. Wendy Khan. Of course, this is the email right here. And it's a pretty slick UI. I mean, just for running in the browser on an iPhone, an iPhone 4S here that I have, uh, it's really slick. And it's all completely HTML5 because, of course, um, uh, iPhone does not support Flash. And now, of course, um, Android has now discontinued their love, <laughs> their love for Flash as well. Uh, I, I, Adobe will not continue uh, supporting um, Flash on uh, the devices as far as future releases. They're going to just continue to update the current releases of Flash. And of course, you can look at your daily statuses. I'm not trying to get off topic here, just trying to uh, show you what's up. So as you guys can see, it'll have your agenda here. And I got to admit, I really do like the Windows Phone 7 UI. It is pretty. It's pretty. Um, it's pretty slick. It's definitely it's not like a copy of iOS to and well, like kind of like what Android is. It's it's something new. It's something new with the tiled interface. And I kind of said that about the uh, Windows Windows 8 build that I kind of like the integration of the of the Windows Phone 7 inter integrated uh, build into uh, desktop Windows. As you guys can see, I'm just kind of clicking along here, and it shows you how you would set up a calendar account and stuff like that. Sorry if I'm not explaining it too well. I I'm not completely Windows Phone. Seven, um, not, not a complete genius on this end. So, but of course you can go into pictures as well. And of course it's just like the iPhone has camera roll. It actually has really really cool pictures in the background and kind of has this neat UI. Of course you would swipe to the side. Of course it has your favorites. You can click on pictures and we'll click on the one that it has pulsing there. You can go to the next one. You can share on Facebook. And then you can tag, just kind of, kind of like you can on iOS and Android. And of course, you can go back to the menu. And of course, guys, this is just a brief um, little insight on how it actually works on uh, on the Windows 
on the Windows 7 platform, Windows Phone 7 platform, of course, running on an iPhone, my iPhone right here. I will leave a link, like I said, in the description, so if you guys want to check this out, I really do find this neat. I think this is going to be a great tool uh, for people that want to kind of check out the Windows 7 UI and kind of see how it works. You know, if they already have an iPhone or if they have an Android-based phone, just to kind of give them a new idea. I think Microsoft's doing a great thing, kind of opening this up in a virtual world. It's basically kind of like a test demo unit you can get at the store, but actually, you don't have to leave your store. You can just, you know, go to the web and type in the URL. And of course, boom, you have it right here on your iPhone or your Android phone. Anyways, guys, this has been DJ AJ 101 here, and let me know what you guys think about this. I find this really, really cool. I think it's a great uh, idea that Microsoft is doing this to kind of get you in to the Windows 7 phone environment and kind of get you a taste of what you would get with a Windows phone. But um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Also, if you want to rate, comment, and subscribe, if you like to subscribe, I would really like that. I truly appreciate that. That helps me out. But anyways, guys, this video has been way too long for a little demo. It's been about almost six minutes, so I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one till then, guys. Bye-bye.